Hello everybody! In today's video, you will see how to move all your data from an Android device to an iPhone, including contacts, photos, videos, music and other information. If you decided to move from an old Android device to a brand new iPhone, if you are wondering if there is any way to transfer the data you need from the old phone to the new one, this is the right video to watch at the right time, as today you will see every step in great detail. So, let's begin! Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. The first method we can use to move data from an Android device to iPhone is to transfer it manually with the help of a computer. In order to move contacts, photos, music, videos and documents from Android to iOS, you need a computer with the iTunes app installed. To begin with, connect your Android device to the computer and locate your photos, videos, music, documents and other information you need to transfer. Most devices tend to keep photos and videos in the folder with the name DCIM camera or a directory with a similar name. Naturally, you can find music in the folder with the same name. And the same is true about documents. Select the data you want to move and copy to the computer. When the copying process is over, disconnect the Android device from the computer and connect your iPhone to this computer instead. Open the iTunes app on the computer to synchronize photos, videos, music, etc. with the iPhone. After synchronization, your data will be available in the corresponding folders on your new phone. For example, you will find photos in the Photos app, Music in the Music app. Select Books from the iTunes menu to find EPUB books and PDF files. They can be located in the Books app when you select All books. For contacts, the easiest way to go is by using default menu items Import, Export. In this case, you don't have to download any additional apps or enable synchronization. And how is that? On your Android smartphone, open Contacts and search the menu for the Import, Export line. Find Export to Storage on this list. A file with the extension VCF will be created on your phone and this format is also supported by Apple devices. Now, you should copy this file to your iPhone with iCloud, Bluetooth or iTunes. Send the file containing contacts to the corresponding email address of your iCloud and open the message with the Mail app. Otherwise, synchronize the devices and send the file by Bluetooth. Here is one more way. Copy a file to the computer and then drag it to iTunes synchronized with your iPhone. After the file is copied to the iPhone, import phone numbers. Contacts, Import Export and select the corresponding file. Another method you can use involves the SIM card, but the number of contacts you can transfer is limited from 200 to 400 items. For this case, Select a SIM card when exporting contacts from your Android device. Then insert this card into the iPhone, open the Settings, Contacts and enable importing contacts from the SIM card. After that, all phone numbers will be copied to the corresponding directory. Talking of apps, and most of those available for Android devices can also be found in App Store. So you just open App Store, find the programs you'd like to use and install them to your iPhone. For another method of moving data, you will need a Wi-Fi connection, a special app and some free time. Turn on Wi-Fi on your Android smartphone and download the app called Move to iOS. Now make sure that your iPhone has enough free space for receiving all data from the Android device. Connect both devices to their chargers, because transferring data may take a long time. If you want to have your bookmarks transferred to, update Google Chrome to its latest version. While you set up your new iOS device, look for the Apps and Data screen. 
Then tap Move Data from Android. To go on with the transfer, on your Android device, open the Move to iOS app and tap Continue. Read the license agreement, tap Agree, then tap Next in the top right corner of the Find your code screen. On your iOS device, tap Continue on the screen called Move from Android. Then wait for a 10-digit or 6-digit code to appear. Enter the code on your Android device. Then wait for the transfer data screen to appear. Select the content that you want to transfer and tap Next. Even if your Android indicates that the process is complete, don't do anything to both devices until the loading bar that appears on your iOS device is full. The transferring process may take some time depending on the amount of data you are moving. The following data can be moved – contacts, message history, camera photos and videos, internet bookmarks, mail accounts and calendars. Besides, some free apps can be moved if they are available both on Google Play and App Store. After the loading bar is full on your iOS device, tap Done on your Android device. Then tap Continue on your iOS device and follow the on-screen directions to finish setup operations. After the request, enter the password to your Google account to synchronize mail and calendars. Now, make sure that all the data you have selected has been transferred. You may need to move music, books and PDF documents manually. As to apps, automatic installation is possible only for those available for free from App Store. All other apps have to be found and then downloaded manually. And if you happen to know any other easier ways to transfer data, we will be happy to see them in your comments under this video. The methods described in this video are so simple that even an OS user can cope with them. Just follow the direction carefully and everything will be fine. That is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!